Okay. Uh, last time we ended on the concept of significant figures. Uh, today we are proceeding with this last part of our topic, uh, which is just more places. Okay. Uh, we say that uh, all positions occupied by digits to the right of the decimal point are the decimal places of a number. Uh, the meaning is uh, those positions occupied by digits. Uh, when you talk about the digits, you mean then those numbers from 0 to 9. From 0 to 9, those are digits. Then we say that those positions occupied by digits to the right of the decimal point mean that after the decimal point then those digits occupy that uh, we call them decimal places okay take simple example we have seven decimal two mean that after this decimal point there is this two only two mean that you say that this uh, has one decimal place we have this one six decimal zero three after decimal point we have zero and three then we say that this has two decimal places. And then we have this one, 60 decimal 161. Uh, after decimal point, we have 160 also 1. Then we say that uh, there we have three decimal places. Then we have this 300. We don't have the decimal point there. Then we say that there we have zero decimal place. Uh, this the last one we say that we have zero decimal zero 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 four. Uh, we say that uh, after decimal point those digits which are zero 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 zero, we have one two three four digits. Then we say that this it has four decimal places. Four decimal places. Okay. Now let us see uh, how can you write in numbers to the required decimal places. How can you write a number to a required decimal places? Now you say that in, take the case of writing a number to three decimal places. For instance, you are given a certain number, then you are required to write that number to three decimal places. Uh, we say that you consider the fourth digit after the decimal point. The fourth digit after the decimal point. Then, if the digit at the fourth decimal is less than five. Uh, we say that then the digit at the third place, at the third decimal place, will remain unchanged, and all the digit after that will be dropped. Take example: eight decimal one two six three four seven. Here we have one two three four five six decimal places. Then we are required to write this number to three decimal. Places. Okay, we say that we have to consider uh, the fourth digit. Mean that one, two, three, four. This is the fourth digit. So the three is the fourth digit. Then we say that if it is below five, I uh, mean that it will remain unchanged. The rest of the digit, including the fourth, uh, fifth, and sixth, will be dropped. From which you'll get that it will be eight decimal one two sixty. This is uh, three decimal places that is the first case uh, second case we say that if the digit at the bottom at the fourth decimal place is equal to or more than five is the either exactly five or more than five then we say that the digit at the third place will be increased by one take example zero decimal nine seven three eight one two three decimal places mean that you have to count one two three digit at the fourth is eight mean that it is above five mean that one will be added from which it will be equal to zero decimal nine seven four two three decimal places okay now let us see uh this example one uh we have given right zero decimal zero one four eight six five correct two two decimal places okay to two decimal places you have to count one two so simply digit after the decimal point are required is less than 5. So simply to remain 0 decimal 0, 1. The rest are dropped. 3 decimal places. We have to count 1, 2, 3. This one. Digit after that one is 8. So 1 will be added. So it will be 0 decimal 
zero, one, five. Five decimal places. We have to count one, two, three, four, five. This one. Uh, then DGT after that is exactly five. Mean that one will be added from which will be zero decimal zero one four eighty seven. Okay. Uh, from there, this is the last party uh, from which uh, the the assignment concerning this topic will be available, uh, which it consists of almost 25 questions. Uh, so I beg you, I kindly beg you, try to pass through those questions. And in case of anything, don't hesitate to communicate with me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay home and be safe.